Hi and welcome to the Windows Kernel Programming Fundamentals course here on Pentester Academy. My name is Pavel and I'll be your guide throughout this course. I already mentioned the fact that uh, clients need to access devices by using the create file function. But how exactly do we do that? How can we locate the appropriate device we want to communicate with? And so to do that, we're going to call the create file or create file to function from user mode. And you can do the same from kernel mode using the ZW create file, which we will uh, meet uh, perhaps later on in this uh, course or perhaps a future course. And so the create file function has several parameters. The first one is called file name in the documentation, but really it's not exactly a file name. A file name is really just one particular case. In fact, that is a symbolic link. And that symbolic link points to the device that I want to access. So for files, I'm going to use something like C colon backslash and then the path that I want to get to. In fact, C colon itself is also a symbolic link and not a real thing. It's not a real device name. And I'll show you that in a moment using the WinOBJ tool from sysinternals. And so for devices, we have to uh, provide create file with a special format so that, it, that it's recognized as a device name rather than a file name. And that uh, format is that you see here, it has two backslashes, then a dot, another backslash, and the name of that symbolic link. And you may recognize this format as the universal naming convention or UNC where the dot means that we're talking about the local machine. And so for devices, in fact, you cannot access known local devices. So you cannot access a device on another machine directly. That just doesn't work. It is possible only for true files that are in a file system. And so just that you know, for uh, C++ or C, we have to use a double backslash for, its back, for each backslash because of that escaping thing we have to do as part of strings. And we'll see that uh, in code uh, very soon. So if I go ahead and open the WinOBJ tool from sysinternals, so let's see that tool. So here it is. I'm going to relaunch it uh, with admin privileges. You know what, I don't have actually have to do that for this demonstration. Um, you can see here there's a, um, a directory here called global two question marks. And this directory, again, this is a directory in memory. It's not a directory in the file system. This is the directory kernel object. And I've discussed that in, uh, in a previous course when we looked at uh, kernel debugging with WinDebug. So if you're not familiar with that, you should probably go ahead and revisit that course. In any case, you can see here all these are symbolic links. Some of them look very weird, such as these uh, crazy uh, names. Some of them look uh, very nice, such as C colon. So here's C colon. And so this is in fact a symbolic link that points to a device object under the device directory here in the device manager's namespace called hard disk volume three. So whenever I do something like create file with C colon, it really is redirected to that uh, device right here. And I have another uh, disk on my system, which is D, and that points to another uh, device object uh, right here, and so on and so forth. So these crazy names, these long names, re really represent uh, symbolic links for hardware devices, and I'm not going to get into why uh, these looks look the way they do. In any case, as a canonical example, I've already run Process Explorer in the background, and you'll see that there's a symbolic link called uh, PROC EXP152, which is version 15.2 of Process Explorer's driver, and it points to the internal name called device PROC EXP152, which this is the typical case where all the real devices, real device objects are part of this uh, device directory. And so, if Process Explorer wants to open a handle to its own device, it would have to use the appropriate value, which is this, with the prefix that I just shown. Let's see if we can do that ourselves. So here's a Visual Studio, and my purpose here is to try to open a handle uh, to Process Explorer's uh, device. So let's see if I can do that. So I'm going to call the create file function, and I haven't looked at create file 
just yet. I'm going to show you that in a moment, but generally I need to provide some file name here. This is exactly the device name that I should try. However, let's go ahead and try to do that first without uh, any special prefix like, like so. So let's say I want to uh, generic uh, rewrite here uh, to this uh, device. Uh, don't care about sharing right now. Um, and maybe uh, security attributes don't care about them as well. And for a device I'd have to use actually the open existing flag because I want to open a handle to an existing device. We don't need any special flags and we don't need any template file. And so let's see if we get a proper handle or not. So uh, if I get invalid handle value, that means that something uh, is wrong. And I can just go ahead and, and print the error that we get. So let me just call get last error to see what uh, went wrong here. Otherwise I can just say success. And I can go ahead and in this case uh, close the handle. Sorry, that's H device. And by the way, I'm running a process uh, explorer with admin privileges, which allows us to install its driver. And so I have to actually run my own application with admin privileges here uh, to make this uh, work, at least to have some chance of working. Otherwise, I'm going to just get uh, some access denied immediately. But let's try that uh, for a moment and see what we get. So I'm placing a breakpoint here and running this application. And I want to see what I get if I just provide this particular string without that specific uh, prefix that I mentioned uh, before. So we hit the breakpoint here. Let's go ahead and press F10 to step over this line and see what we get. So F10. And so what we get in each device is invite handle value, which is minus one, which means we have an error. And if you look at the watch window, we can actually use the pseudo variable ERR to see the last error, even without actually printing the error value here. And that's error number two, which means uh, file not found. We can of course view that easily using the error lookup tool. So I'm going to go and open error lookup. So here it is, you can just uh, put the number and we see that the file is not found. And that's because the parser within the IOS system thinks that I mean that this should be a file without an extension in the current directory of the process. And since I don't have such a file, it fails. Let me now add this prefix of two backslashes, a dot and a backslash. Let's try this again. So building, running and I'm hitting the breakpoint. Let's go and do F10 again. And notice now that we have a proper handle. So the handle is uh, correct. So we have a, a proper handle to the device and we don't get any failure. So we're actually succeed, succeeding here in opening a handle to the Process Explorer uh, device, which of course behind the scenes has a driver that manages it. And so the next step, logical step, would be to send requests to that driver. But since we don't know the protocol of what requests uh, Process Explorer knows how to handle, it's not that easy to do. We need to do some reverse engineering and some experimentation to see what we can actually send to this device. But we managed to get the proper handle to that uh, device uh, driver uh, using the symbolic link that is exposed in that two question mark uh, directory within the object manager's namespace. And this is something we'll do as well when we build our own driver so that our clients from user mode will be able to communicate with the driver and do stuff. So if we go back to the create file function, just to summarize what we've seen here, the create function file function is the entry point to working with devices. And again, the name create file is misleading. It's not really about files in the file system, but it's really short for create file object. And the file object is the object within the kernel that abstracts communication with a certain device. This could be a file in the file system in, in one of the cases, but of course it could be some device such as 
a camera device or logical device such as the device exposed by the process explorer driver. And so we have to specify open existing as the, the parameter that indicate what kind of device or how to find that device. We cannot create a new device for instance. And so for real files we can have something like create new or create always or open always and these kinds of things. However for devices open existing is the only uh, correct option uh, to use. And like all calls to create file if everything works okay we get back a proper handle. If it fails it returns this invalid handle value uh, value which is minus one and this is what we uh, used within the code uh, in case of failure and if we do fail we can call the get last error function in code to get more information about why we actually failed and so the function is very general in a sense for devices it's much simpler to use than for files because all these things related to sharing for example and uh, attributes and template file are not uh, necess necessary in, in most cases Thank <music> you.